You see the video of the thief disguised as a trash bag? Yeah, he's a copycat criminal. I saw. This guy just stole a page out of the playbook from the guy who did, did this exact same thing with the traffic cone. I mean, it could even be the same culprit, I suppose. We don't have any DNA evidence to link them. Toy Story crime? Yeah, basically. Things to give some candy. And nothing on the horizon immediately, ghostly. You seen Batman Beyond Year One fan film? I did not. Thanks, membership curious. What, thief? The guy with the traffic cone, he did the exact same thing. Same technique, everything. They must have trained at the same dojo. Raise Al Ghul trained them in the art of package theft. Prop hunt. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, kind of. It's unironically not the worst plan ever. Bro is not solid snake. He's membership traffic. Probably should get gas traffic, yeah. Thanks for your sub yeti. You hear about the thirty million dollar LA bank heist? Oh, that's the biggest uh like cash heist in a long, long time, right? I saw a couple of headlines. I didn't look into it though, I'll do that now. It does sound interesting. Apparently it was so easy. All they did was enter through a hatch in the roof and left without triggering a single alarm. They made off with thirty million. I have not seen that theory, Seti. Thanks for you, some Chris. Membership, Jason. Thanks for you, some Think. Burglars steal 30 million in cash from a Los Angeles money storage facility, one of the city's largest cash heists. A money storage facility. I wonder how often money goes missing from this storage facility. The FBI and Los Angeles Police Department are investigating one of the largest cash heists in the city's history after as much as $30 million was stolen from a San Fernando Valley money storage facility. A law enforcement source briefed on the investigation told CNN Thursday the burglary happened on the night of Easter Sunday at the facility in Silomar. <clears throat> where's, where's their technique? Because I'm pretty sure it's they went to the roof, opened a hatch, dropped in, and then left. Burglars gained access to the building and entered the vault without setting off the alarms and investigators believe it is a sophisticated group based on their ability to evade detection. One area of focus for the investigation is whether the group had inside knowledge of the facility, who said the source, who added that the heist was discovered on Monday. The facility was operated by private security firm Garda World. Is that the full name of that company? You see them travel around pretty often in those giant armored Garda trucks. But this is, if this is the name of their company, that shit sounds like an MMO out of, like, Sword Art Online. Fucking Garda World? I mean, it's kind of cool sounding, to be honest. There's a Prime Stas and Josh. Membership Hanny. Oh, congrats, Goblin. I'd say start with CS. You might as well break that puppy in. They have 145,000 employees at Garda World? Holy cannoli, what? 145,000 employees? I, I, I'm looking that up myself. I'm, I might just be getting one guide with someone spouting a bunch of fucking gobbledygook. Yeah, I was getting lied to. This guy's a fucking fibber. They have 132,000 employees. See, that makes so much more sense. I had no idea there was such a powerhouse. 
Uh, according to the Los Angeles Times, the previously largest cash heist in the city happened September 12, 1997, when $18.9 million was stolen from the former site of the Dunbar Armored Inc. facility on Mateo Street. Suspects were eventually caught. Is that all? Wait. There was, I saw, like, there was a video floating around on Twitter of this. Where is it? Is it? I thought there was a video. Is there not? Was it just people sharing fraudulent shit? How would they not have cameras inside of the money storage facility? You're telling me they don't have a single camera in there? They have fucking cameras at Burger King inside. They don't have anything inside of here? Hundred percent inside job. Well, I've, oh, here we go. Here we go. Wait, I think this is the. I think this is the video. God damn it! Thanks, membership galaxy. I did see that Mateo. That's pretty exciting stuff for dark and darker. One of the largest cash heists in LA history. Sure is. Let's go out to Gigi Graciette in Silmar, where burglars broke into the vault of a money storage facility. They got away with a lot of money, Gigi. Quiet. And as you said, Brooke, this seems like something out of a movie, a Mission Impossible movie. Take a look at the video. A Mission Impossible movie? Are you serious? Show me the Mission Impossible movie where Tom Cruise breaks in and steals this money. This is Ocean's Eleven type kind of movie. You know, this all happening here in Silmar on Easter Sunday. An estimated $30 million dollars stolen in cash from a Silmar money storage facility. The burglars reportedly breaking in either through the side of the building or the roof and then managing to open up a vault where the cash was being stored without triggering any of the sophisticated alarms. And the burglary crew was so stealth and meticulous that no one noticed the money was gone until Monday when employees opened up the vault which showed no obvious signs of a break-in. Now the company is Garda World. They have branches around the world and over 132,000 employees and they specialize in cash services which includes ATM services and armored truck transports. According to their website some of their clients are Fortune 500 companies even the United States federal government along with other international government agencies. I thought they had some kind of footage here. Here's He's just going over it. You know, just the thing that there Who's is this? a pretty secured uh, alarm system. They check to make sure that the alarm is set up. So, you know, just the thing that they were able to go through the security system and get away with all that money. And so, it's a shocker. You know what's a bigger shocker? You have this sophisticated alarm system and not a single camera inside? Yeah, it doesn't seem that sophisticated. If they did this to a Burger King, they would already have their pictures plastered all over the internet. How would you not have a single goddamn camera? There's something fishy going on inside a Garda world. I think that's what- this definitely sounds like an inside job. A hundred percent. Oh yeah, exactly. Then they'd get caught skimming money. It was a hundred job. Uh, it was an inside job, one hundred percent, no doubt, no fucking doubt. Thanks, a membership, Nate. Burger King has more to protect. Well, that's true. That, that secret formula. The burglars' names were Michael, Franklin, and Trevor. Not gonna lie, I guess you never really know. Thanks, membership, Adrian. Garda World is like the sloppiest guards I've ever seen. I watch them load banks and they're so loosey-goosey with it. I believe that. Thanks for membership. Now that Crap. was a Garda World employee who asked that we not identify him. Again, they managed to somehow go around that alarm system and of course that's something both the FBI and the LAPD are looking at right now and of course they always, as in most crimes, start with those closest to the crime and that would be looking at the employees. That makes Reporting sense. Reporting live, I'm Gigi Graciette. Though with 132,000 employees, you gotta ask yourself, how easy will it be 
to analyze every employee when they have as many as like an actual fucking city. Things are some small and hoodwink. I saw a picture on Twitter from this though. Apparently, like apparently they said that they went through like a a hatch in the roof, and then just walked out this. Oh, here it is. Here it is. But it's the Daily Mail, so this is probably just a bunch of goddamn baloney. Well, let me look at this real quick. I'll still pull it up, whatever. This is what I saw. So I thought there was some kind of footage of it. It is believed they used the roof hatch to access the inside. Thieves are assumed to have climbed the ladder and used the roof to gain access. Local news footage showed a patched up hole on the side of the building which may have been their exit. I didn't see that in the news broadcast we watched, but maybe they just didn't want to show that. I feel like this would be a dead giveaway. If there is a hole in the side of the building that is held up by a fucking piece of wood. I feel like we could safely assume that probably some fishy play had gone on, gone on over there. Hey, good to see you, Sneaky. Doing alright, man. Hope you're doing well. And I'll make sure to tell Matt when he's back, just in case. But I'm sure you'll probably hear back before then. Who do you think did the heist, though? Do you think they were affiliated with bigger groups? Why are you asking me? I have no fucking clue. For all I know, it could be the Men in Black. I, I have no clue. It's, I think it was probably someone that works for Garda World, recognized that there's no cameras in there, thus all they need to do is get rid of like the silent alarm system or whatever. Fucking Maybe they deployed an EMP. I don't know. Maybe they're working with the KGB. I have no fucking clue. I have no information. I think it's the same guys behind the Hatton Garden robbery who were literally just a bunch of senior citizens. What? The Hatton Garden robbery? What's that? Oh, there's even a movie based around it. The Hatton Garden Job 2017. Or is this just a movie? Oh, no, it is a real thing. <clears throat> In April 2015, an underground safe deposit facility in Hatton Garden, London, owned by Hatton Garden Safe Deposit, was burgled. Great, I love that word. Fucking burgled. SpongeBob type speak. According to official sources, the total stolen had an estimated value of 14 million euro. Uh, 17 million in 2021. And only 4.3 million has been recovered. The heist was planned and carried out by six elderly men who were experienced thieves, all of whom were arrested, pled guilty, and received prison sentences in March 2016. Four other men were also tried on suspicion of involvement. Three were found guilty and sent to prison while the fourth was cleared. Well, that's probably where the rest of the money went. This dude still just got it under his mattress. How old were they? They were like old, old, 60 to 70. Okay, let's see the technique. April 1st, electrical cables under the pavement of King's Kingsway caught fire, leading to serious dis disruption in the central London. The fire continued for two days, with flames shooting out of the manhole cover from a burst gas main before being extinguished. Several thousand people were evacuated from nearby offices. However, local residents were left without food and electricity. April 2nd, depository staff locked doors for Easter weekend. Mr. Ginger descended to the vault, followed by three men pulling wheelie bins. They had their own code names. Mr. Ginger? Okay. Police were informed burglar alarm had been triggered. Gang members talked before going to their van driving away. Mr. Ginger went to the vault, was joined by two other men. Gang members drove away from the bank. Oh, they released CCTV footage. I want to see that. Imagining them in some kind of like old person mobile, like some kind of beat up hearse or something. This whole story was ridiculous. Their getaway driver literally fell asleep while waiting for the crew. That's adorable. <laughs> the invisible boat mobile. Oh my god, that'd be fucking cool. Oh, here's a 3D simulation. The <laughs> gang. Thanks, Sky News. We fucking hit up Pixar here for a little 3D animation around it. 
The gang carried their gear down the fire escape to the basement courtyard. From the inside, Basil unbolted the back door. Two men climbed the stairs to the second floor, where they brought up and disabled the lift. Nice. From the ground floor, one or more of the gang dropped down the lift shaft to the basement and forced open a metal shutter. They crawled out, opened the unlocked cupboard under They're the They're pretty limber for being 70. disabled the alarm. They cut the power to the outer iron gate and slid it open. They smashed the lock off the wooden main door and let in the others. They cut through the second iron gate and drilled through the vault wall. Concrete, half a This is like a legitimate heist. I thought this was going to be super stupid, but this is like Each one real work. Each one agonizing 30 minutes to drill. The entrance is just wide enough for Danny Jones, a super fit marathon runner, and Basil, the mystery raider, to fit through. Cool. You made this sound super stupid. No, they're not good at what they do. 